15 for us. You out there, Tony? Yes, Fatty. And what a great scene it is out here. For the first time at Bear Park, we've got the big electronic scoreboard in action, so the fans will be able to see the replays instantaneously at the grounds. Beautiful and beautiful winter day here. Very warm, not a cloud in the sky. We're expecting a big crowd being the only game. One of those white things up there, then. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a look up in the sky there, Tony. <laughs> what can you see? <laughs> You're kidding, aren't you? It's one of your best. That's just smoke. <laughs> what about the team changes, Tony? How's North Sydney shaped up? We've come through much better than Brisbane. Gary Larson is fit to play, and he'll sit on the reserve bench and come into the game you know, after 20 minutes or so. And what about your own form, Tony? You've still... You re they reckon you're playing with a broken leg, you just put a band-aid on it and run around, so you're pretty tough, but you, it's your 100th grade game for the Bears today, you must be very proud. Of, how are you playing? Well, I've played better. Uh, I just still do have a stress fracture in the bottom of the leg and it's giving me a little bit of trouble, but these split rounds have been uh, proving a miracle cure for me. I've nearly reached 100% speed during the week for the first time, so I'm happy with that. And by the end of the next split round, we've got the weekend off after this, I'm hoping to be back in full training. I still don't train with the side till Friday night, and I just go through the ball work there. So obviously, you know, the fitness is down a bit and I aren't playing 100%, but we've just got to battle on and we're going OK here at North Sydney. On the 100 game, yeah, it's something I'm very proud of. Um, the club's turned around a lot in the five years I've been here, so I'm proud of that and I'm proud to be associated with the joint. And Greg Florimo, a big afternoon for him as well. His 150th first grade game, he'll be a, a key member again this afternoon, Tony. Yeah, well, Flo's just proven himself in all circumstances to be a great champion player. 150 first grade games, that's a, that's a mammoth effort. You know, I look forward to the day to play 100 first grade games. This is only 100 grade games for me. I'm well, the way you're going, that'll be the year 2000. Yeah. <laughs> Three games a year. Yeah, four broken <laughs> But the Bears, uh, they considered lucky to win last time against Penrith, 20 points to 18. Been some criticism about the Bears and the style of play uh, being talked about being boring. And how do you answer that sort of criticism? Well, we're very proud of our defensive record, first off, and we, we aim to stop sides. We have probably been justified with the criticism against us. Our attacking style, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. We've just been taking, for the last three or four weeks, some very dumb options. It's been frustrating the coach and frustrating us. If we can start picking the right options, our, our structure of our play is fine. It's just that we're not doing it 100% the way we should be doing it. And I think in the next few weeks, you know, we've got... Brisbane and Canberra and St George and the high scoring sides coming up against us, we do have to score some points and we're conscious of that and we've been training very much towards doing that, putting points on the board. Well, thanks for joining us, uh, Tony, from out there. We appreciate you taking the time and uh, best of luck to the Bears today and it's a great ground, it's a great place to watch rugby league from and don't forget tonight, 6.30pm, uh, just check local guides, that'll be on telly, should be a great game, Norse versus Brisbane. After the break, Rex Mossop and the Pass the Ball Comp.